Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be uh, creating our uh, view model, basically news view model. And uh, we're going to be, uh, we're going to try to use uh, that API, this API that we created in the last video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, we go to our news uh, or this view models folder and press command N to create a new file. And we are still working with Swift file. So as you can as you can see, like you know, we haven't touched Swift UI at all yet because what we are trying to do is we are try, trying to create a structure where our um, our whole app, like you know, the brain of the app, is separate from the UI. So once we are done with all this legwork of getting the data, like you know, being able to process and everything, then we're gonna create our UI and. Uh, you can literally take this part like you know up until up, up until like you know we get to the swift ui and port it into a storyboard and then start working with it so that's actually the benefit of separating your logic in like uh, with mbvm pattern because it gives you that separations of like you know logic where the front end is where the back end is where the middle tier is and stuff like that okay so let's go ahead and continue uh, we're gonna create first news list or news view model first, okay? And we're also gonna create news list view model, which is gonna show the list of the news. Um, so all the all the um, list items in the news are gonna be displayed in that, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and create a class here, news uh, view model. So we're gonna call this one, uh, or we can actually create a struct this time. So let's create a struct because uh, this is actually a perfect candidate for struct news view model. I'm gonna create a variable that's gonna get the news. Okay, so this is gonna hold the news, and uh, so this is actually gonna represent our model. Okay, then we're gonna create something that's gonna be used by our uh, front end because it's a view model remember view model talks to the view okay so uh, what we can do is uh, we can create our own variables like author and these are going to be uh, sort of like you know in they're going to be encapsulating uh, what we have in the news and return that version of that so news dot author it's going to return if it's nil then it's going to return unknown okay and uh, we're gonna similarly uh, return description stuff News dot title. Any of these are, uh, if any of these are nil, we are simply gonna um, return a empty an empty string, um, and then URL. Okay, so this one we're gonna take it a little bit differently. So we're gonna return the uh, we're gonna return news dot URL to image, right? If it's empty, then we can actually return this breaking news banner, um, just a default uh, image. Uh, and I'm actually still downloading from the internet because I want to show you like you know, how you can do that. But you can actually very well have this image in your um, in your assets and just refer to that that way okay um cool um there's no call is saying okay so is our url never gonna be nil what do you mean okay yeah that's what it is uh which is why it's complaining saying like you know it's never gonna be utilized because url is never gonna be nil but in our case because we are dealing with network um 
we don't know what's going to be nil or not so it should be uh, should be fine we just eliminated that warning that's good okay so now let's go ahead and create our news list view model and uh, this is where you're gonna get the first taste of combine so I'm gonna select Swift file and news okay so news list VM okay and uh, here we're gonna create our class news list VM now reason we are actually creating class here because uh, this view model uh, that's actually gonna be the list view model uh, can be passed around I mean we could have very well created this one as a class as well but I don't see like you know passing this one around uh, that much so um, so you know like you know that's why I created uh, struct but if you see that reference is being passed around and you don't want to create a bunch of copies um, then you can actually always create a class now remember that your uh, model usually are always struct because you do want to pass them around and they and each instance of model should hold their own value but if any if in case you are um, you are thinking that your model needs to be passed around then uh, I would say start with a struct and if you see that it's actually um, it's, just, it's replicating a lot like you know you're copying it like uh, from function to function then you can move it and make it basically into a um, into a class but start with struct and then uh, see if that works out then leave it otherwise change it into class I for when I was creating this demo I was actually I, I uh, followed the same principle started with struct and then converted into object okay uh, converted into class um, okay so now news list view model is going to be an observable object why do we need the observable object because we're going to be observing the changes that's going to happen in this uh, so whenever a new data is downloaded we can actually publish that data uh, and whoever is subscribed to that to that uh, publisher basically is going to get the information about it that's why we're going to create it as an observable object okay um, so we're gonna like like I mentioned we're gonna publish something so we're gonna publish news news view model okay we're gonna initialize that now there's one more thing actually we need we need um, we need uh, basically images right so we can actually um, use a dictionary to cache all the images so we're gonna actually publish our image data okay and uh, here we're gonna say string and data okay and we're gonna parse that data however we want to and string is gonna be basically storing the URL of the string that way whenever uh, a user requests that hey I need uh, image for this news article and here's the URL we're gonna look it up in our dictionary and say okay here's the data and construct your image from that okay so for in order for us to do that let's go ahead and do the network manager and create a function that's gonna retrieve images for us asynchronously okay so we're gonna simply say fuck get image it's gonna take a URL string All right, and uh, it's gonna have a completion block, which is gonna be escaping. It's gonna return us data in the completion, and then we're gonna say guard let URL is equal to URL. Gonna use the string overload URL string else completion block is going to return nil and so if we can't construct the url then we're going to return nil and otherwise we're going to say url string uh, sorry url session dot shared dot data task with url and completion handler so url is going to take url and 
completion handler is going to have data, response, and error. Okay. Don't forget to resume. So let's go ahead and write that. First, we're going to say guard, guard, let, or guard error is equal to nil, first of all. And let data is equal to data. Else completion is nil. And we're going to return. Otherwise, we're going to return completion and data that we have received. Okay, so that is going to be basically uh, the function that's going to return us an image. Okay, let's go back to our view model. And um, inside our view model, basically, we are getting the image data. So let's go ahead and create a func load. And this load is basically going to call uh, news, get news somewhere. Okay, and we haven't created that function. So let's go ahead and create a function private func get news okay and here we're going to create instance of our network manager and we're going to say network manager network manager dot get news and it's gonna, it's, this returns us a completion block. So news articles, okay. And we're gonna say guard let news is equal to news articles, if we get that. If we don't, then return from here. And if there is any news article, we're gonna basically map them into the view model so this news article that we if you option click on this um okay so it's not showing but uh, if you go back to our network this is actually returning us a model it's returning us our model so it's returning news envelope news envelope is basically what it has news now we don't want to expose this directly to our view so what we're going to do is for that reason we created this new news view model which we can expose to our view right uh, to create that uh, mvvm layers so um, what we're going to do is we're going to map these into view model representation so we're going to say let news view model is equal to news dot map okay and we're going to transform our uh, data into uh, news view model and we're simply going to say here news view model dot in it and since all the properties that we have all the um, uh, all the properties that we have created are similar to what news has it's basically going to take care and initialize that and basically populate news vm okay um, so that is going to map our news uh, data news model into news view model and now we can say get us the image so here we can actually call another function so let's create that get images so we can immediately uh, get images for our news view model so we can supply a new view model and we're gonna once again say network manager so network manager Okay, and uh, network manager. So we're gonna say news dot for each. Okay, and uh, here we're gonna get a news article in. Okay, and um, in in. Okay, and in, and we're gonna say guard n dot URL to image so if there is no url to image so url to image is not there basically this is, is empty right um, okay so let's see what's happening here so what you're saying is uh, n dot url to image is empty so if it is empty right then we should not proceed 
so what we are checking in God's statement is is if it's not empty proceed if it's empty then return from here okay that's what we're doing here then we're gonna say network manager dot get image okay and this is where we're gonna supply our um, URL so we can say n dot URL to image okay and then it returns us data and we're gonna take this data so we're gonna say another guard let data is equal to data else return and we're gonna say dispatch q dot main dot async self dot image data dot and dot url to image is equal to data okay so uh basically what what we are doing here is uh we are saying uh that get the um go through each news article get us the image data download it and populate this image data um, dictionary okay now we are uh, dispatching it on the, on the main queue because uh, this view model is going to be bound to our swift ui and most of the ui related stuff uh, happens on the uh, main thread and url session actually works on the background thread to download your data uh, so your ui is not blocked while it's waiting for uh, while it's waiting for data to be downloaded so for that reason we are gonna have to move ourselves into the main queue before we actually populate this because this is being observed by the UI as well okay so we're gonna go back to our um, this function right here and let's finish this off so we're gonna say self dot get uh, images and we're gonna supply our news VM here okay at the same time while this is happening because this is an asynchronous function uh, we're gonna say dispatch q dot main dot async and this is where we're gonna say self dot news is equal to news vm okay so we are actually populating this one and this one is being observed uh, for the changes so now these changes are going to be populated and as soon as these changes are basically populated uh, this data is going to be published and whoever is listening to these changes uh, they're going to get that data and basically um, then they will be able to react to it however they want to present it so however they want to present is the next thing that we're going to be focusing on in next video so let's go ahead and hop on to the next video where we're going to be creating our swift ui views okay so coming up next swift ui views and populating this all this data that we are receiving and putting it into a visual format all right i'll see you guys in the next video thank you